Uh, of the site on which this fire station sits. Ah, uh, The Honorable Minister for Local Government, Housing and uh, Community Development, uh, fellow cabinet ministers, distinguished guests, government officials, the NFA uh, board chairman and the chief executive officer, management and staff of the National Fire Authority, ladies and gentlemen. Nandra Binaka. And uh, what a good morning it is. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm happy to join you all today as we officially open the new Nakasi Fire Station. Together with the brand new fire truck that will service your community, we stand before a $1.7 million investment in a growing community. Whenever I turn on the news or open the paper and see, in, uh, see an image of a building engulfed in flames, I get a sinking feeling in my stomach. And my first thought is always like any Fijians, is whether those inside made it out OK. I wonder what could have been done differently and how we could have avoided this senseless tragedy. But when a home uh, business can go from a spark to a raging inferno, in just a matter of minutes, it leaves uh, little room for error. Every second counts when it comes to responding to a fire and can make the difference between life and death. That's why my government is uh, committed to extending the reach of the National Fire Authority as far as possible with 18 fire stations found in communities all throughout Fiji. Communities like Nakasi and uh, manning those stations with rotating teams of firefighters who stand at the ready 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Strong and well-staffed uh, fire stations provide Fijians with emergency services that can help protect homes, businesses, and uh, lives from the threat of fires and of course other emergencies. The people of Nakasi can now sleep easier knowing that these life-saving services are at your doorstep. But uh, despite its name, the National Fire Authority does far more than put out fires. As we all know now, the NFA's responsibilities have grown to include responding to auto accidents, protecting the public from hazardous materials, spillage, carrying out flood and swift water rescue operations, emergency ambulatory uh, services, first aid assistance, and search and rescue operations. By every standard, Fijian firefighters keep our communities safe day and night. And for that, they are heroes. And their heroism was on full display in recent months as Fiji grappled with two crises, the COVID-19 and the tropical cyclone herald. Each posed unique challenges which were only compounded by the other. Responding to either one alone would be difficult. Being forced to navigate both at once would seem nearly impossible. But the National Fire Authority stepped up and took action when the country needed them most. By keeping our evacuation centers sanitized, 
clearing debris and fallen trees and cleaning out our communities as soon as the storm had settled. The National Fire Authority showed the world that Fijians don't back away from any challenge or crisis, no matter how great. My friends, all this said, our firefighters might seem larger than life, but the truth is, even without the protective gear of flashing trucks, all one of us can be firefighters too. Because the most effective way of fighting fires is to prevent them from ever even studying. That's why the National Fire Authority is setting out to educate our communities on proper safety precautions and uh, preparedness, alerting the public about the best ways to prevent fires and save lives. I ask every Fijian to use today as a learning opportunity and as a chance to make the commitment to take fire safety seriously. Some of the biggest steps you can take are the simplest. Ensure that your homes are fire safe by switching off all electrical appliances after use. Prevent overloading your power supply. Stay in the kitchen until your food is cooked and the stove is switched off. Keep an eye on the candles, uh, prayer ideas, and uh, mosquito coils, making sure that they are safely spaced from any flammable materials placed on ceramic or metallic surfaces and extinguished before leaving home or before going to bed. I also ask all parents to keep a close watch on their children. They often don't understand the potential dangers of a flickering flame and their curiosity might get the better of them. Take uh, every precaution to fireproof your house in your homes by keeping matches and lighters out of their reach. And realize that it's our responsibility to sit down and speak to them about just how deadly a fire can be. So by sitting down and having a simple conversation, you may be saving their life. And as always, remember that the National Fire Authority is just a phone call away. So dial 910 if you need help. To the firefighters who will be servicing uh, this uh, Nakasi Fire Station, you are being entrusted with more than a new building and a new fire truck. In your hands, you hold the safety of the many, uh, many families who will depend on this station and on you when they need you most. I trust you are up for this challenge before you and I look forward to watching you rise to it. Be the heroes we all know you to be. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my great pleasure to declare this Nakasi Fire Station officially open. And God bless you all. Prime Minister and the Honourable Minister.